A looming strike in the auto industry. 150,000 workers poised to walk out. That could cost the big three automakers billions, send shockwaves through the broader economy. Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis tracking it all. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, George, and a potential large impact here. The hard deadline is 11.59 p.m. on September 14th. The head of the UAW says if the automakers, including GM, Stellantis, and Ford, do not meet their demands, they will strike, shutting down production across the country. This morning, a strike deadline looming as the United Auto Workers clash with the big three automakers. The union demanding a 46% pay raise, a 32-hour work week, and a return of traditional pensions. Automakers for GM and Jeep maker Stellantis say those demands are unrealistic. But newly elected union president Sean Fain has vowed to keep pushing, with the current contract expiring in just nine days. When workers get fair and equitable justice and fair and equitable wages and benefits, they move the economy. A CEO making $29 million doesn't move this economy. Fain calling out corporate greed as strikes and threats of strikes are growing in other industries too, from Hollywood to companies like UPS. Everything's not going to be the way it was. It ain't going to be status quo. All this as car manufacturers compete with Tesla and transition to producing more electric vehicles, which require fewer workers to assemble. President Biden, who bills himself as a pro-union president, downplaying the threat. Fain's response? Well, I'm shocked by that reaction. Uh, you know, he must know something we don't know. Our intent is not to strike. Our intent is to get a fair agreement. The last time the UAW went on strike, it was 2019. It lasted 42 days, and it was specifically against General Motors. That cost the automaker $3.6 billion. This time, economists estimate that a strike lasting just 10 days would cost the U.S. economy at least $5 billion, and it would have ripple effects, everything from the manufacturers to dealerships like this one behind me to consumers who would pay a higher price for their cars because supplies are already consumed. Strained. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.